The straw flute is sometimes one of the more difficult experiments, but I'm going to show you how to do it, just in case you haven't got the hang of it yet, and then I'm going to talk to you about the science behind it. So you'll see here, what I've done is exactly what you've probably done. I've got my paper straw, I've flattened the end like this, and then I've made a little point on the end. So I've cut a triangle, cut it like that, into a triangle. And what we need to do is we need to make sure that there's a gap between these two ends of the straw. It's not very big, but there does need to be a bit of a gap, because if there's no gap, then the air won't be able to get down the straw. You also need to make sure that when you put it in your mouth, you don't press your lips together too tightly, because if you press too tightly, it's going to squeeze this bit like this and mean that no air can get down. So making sure there's a slight gap, I'm going to put it in my mouth, and then I'm going to blow quite gently. If I blow too gently, the air won't be able to get through and we won't hear any noise. But if I blow too hard, it might make these two bits stick together and that will block the air as well. So it's a bit of a difficult one and it might take a bit of practice for you to get it right. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, now what you heard there was this little triangle vibrating and then the air vibrates all the way down the straw. Now, any time you have a vibration, that vibration shakes the air. So the word vibration just is the science word for the word shake. So it shakes the air, it shakes the air inside this tube, and then it shakes the air outside. And then it shakes the air around by your ears. And eventually it shakes your eardrum, which is something inside your ear that shakes like this. And depending on what the shake is, so how fast it is, and how hard it is depends on what your body makes you hear. So anytime I talk, I'm actually making a vibration. I want to show you another vibration experiment to do with sound. What you can do is you can put your hand over your throat like this. And if you say the word whisper and you whisper it like this, whisper, you probably won't feel any vibration because it's too quiet. So your throat is vibrating when you whisper, but it's just a very small vibration to make a very quiet sound, so you don't feel it. But if you talk normally like this, at the moment I can actually feel my throat vibrating. And just like with your straw, the throat vibrates, which vibrates the air inside your mouth, and then passes that vibration onto the air here, and then it passes it onto anybody's eardrums that's nearby, so I can hear myself and anybody else in the room with me, there's no one in the room with me at the moment because I'm social distancing, but if there was, they'd be able to hear what I'm saying because the vibration would travel to their eardrums too. Give it a go. You can even try making a higher pitched sound by cutting this off like this. Let's give it another go now. That's a funny noise. It's much higher and that's because the vibration is traveling much faster. And our brains just, they know that when a fast vibration comes in, it means a high sound. So our brain turns it into a high sound and that's how we hear.